All right, Chris, so have you ever been to Chick-fil-A? Many times, I can say. Okay, I have to admit, I've never been to Chick-fil-A. No? Well, never. Well, they were late to get to Michigan, so. Although, you, that's right. Although, when we went to Florida one year, my sister brought some home, and I was like, no, I don't want anything. And she actually found a few healthier options, and I was like, okay, I guess I'll try it, and it was good. So, they do have some healthier options at fast food restaurants. I'm not totally dissing this, but I know Chick-fil-A's line is really long. So All the time. If you don't want to wait around. They, they're, they're open till 10, and they are busy till 10, so. Okay, so now you can make it at home. I'm looking forward to it. You I'm, know? I'm, 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 I'm waiting with anticipation to see how it goes. <laughs> so I'm sure it will save you time. Okay, so all I did to start was I marinated the chicken in a half cup of pickle juice. And I bet you didn't know that that was Chick-fil-A secret. Pickle juice? Pickle juice. Never knew. So I marinated it for an hour in the fridge, but at least a half hour. And that's what gives it its flavor. It's really juicy and it has an acid in pickle juice mm -hmm. that breaks down the chicken, so it's very tender. See, I usually just throw the pickle juice out and save the jar. I know, now and I now you can it. top it with yeah. pickles wow. and marinate yes. it in the juice. All right. So we have to bread this chicken. Okay. So I'm gonna have you put some oat flour. You can put that into this dish here. You just want two shallow dishes. It doesn't have to be totally all of it. Just enough to make like a breading, a little more. A little more? Yeah, I'd say about a, two cups, so yep. And then we're gonna do some baking powder. So you have a measuring spoon there, so two teaspoons, yep. This teaspoon? Yep, a baking powder. So baking powder is what gives it kind of like a crust, uh -huh. like a crispy texture. Okay. And then just do half teaspoon of each of these. So there's your half teaspoon of paprika, salt, pepper, and garlic powder. All right. And that's gonna go in the dry breading. Then I'm gonna get two eggs in the wet bowl. So have you ever breaded chicken before? You know something, I got an air fryer for Christmas and I, I do it actually every now and then. Oh, okay. Yeah. And so you do the breaded chicken and then you put it in your air fryer? I do, it's okay. I mean, I, I, I'm sure you do it a lot better, but. Oh, and one tablespoon of sweetener. A sweetener? So you could do these chicken sandwiches this in the air fryer. This one, no. uh, this one. One tablespoon is already measured. So okay. you can just dump that whole thing in. All right. So you could do, do these in the air fryer mm -hmm. and you can stir it just like I am. Um, but we bake these, okay. so 450 degrees. So it's really, really hot oven, so it's just like mm -hmm. um, frying in the sense that it'll get crispy. Got it. I also have this baking cooling rack mm -hmm. that goes on the sheet pan, and that helps the chicken to get cooked all the way around, so you don't have a soggy bottom, Got it. and so it's crispy. So just until it's mixed up, you wanna kinda give it a little stir like that. And so what are your favorite fast food Option. Chick fil A, Taco Bell, McDonald's, Wendy. This sounds nice and healthy, doesn't it? <laughs> so, pretty much everything. Everything, yeah. Well, well, you know. And Culver's is a great one, too. Okay. Culver's. You, you and Sean. You and Sean. <laughs> you could talk about this stuff all day. You right. know, Sean, I'm pretty sure his favorite thing is Culver's. And so, this actually reminded me of him when I was thinking about what recipes are really hot in the fast food world. I thought about Sean and how he loves chicken sandwiches. Yeah. So I'm gonna have you take a piece of this chicken, uh -huh. and it looks really big, so some of them are cut a little bit smaller. You could yeah. always cut them up. Dip it in, we wanna do our egg first. Okay. And then our flour. All right, yep. just put it. There you go, yep. Okay. Just like that. Ooh. Getting on me here. Getting a nice splash. And it, you, it, there's really no right or wrong way to do it, just until it's totally coated. And we actually, you could do like some hot sauce in the eggs if you wanted it to have like a hot flavor. Cause I know there's spicy chicken yeah, there are, sandwiches. Yeah. Uh -huh. Or you could do some pepper in your dry and that'll help it to have a little bit of kick of flavor. Mm -hmm. And then just put it right on your pan there. Okay. And that looks perfect. And then you can continue. Oh, you're gonna <laughs> keep me going here, huh? So we have about a pound and a half of chicken. We did two eggs. We did a half cup of almond milk in the wet. And then we just did in the dry some oat flour seasonings and a little bit of sweetener. So Chick-fil-A, that's another thing. In all of their chicken recipes, they have a little bit of sweetener. So the sweet and the salty is what people like. And, really, and it gets you addicted, it keeps you coming back. They don't know it's in there, yeah, but yeah. it's that's, that's another trick. It's the pickle juice and then the sweetener. So what do you like most for a dessert? When it comes to Again, fast food. everything but Frosties, milkshakes, um, Culver's is good. They got nice ice cream. They got an ice cream machine that 
without fresh ice cream. That's always so, good. So another thing about Chris is that that we haven't mentioned yet is that he's single. <laughs> so how can you tell? Here, when I'm hearing him say these things, I'm thinking. This is why right. <laughs> he, he's so frequent at these places. He doesn't have right. a wife that's gonna a stop him from from no. going as much, and b probably do some cooking yeah, and, well, and help you out in that department. You know, because they gotta know, know how he's to got cook. a lot she, going on. She has to know how to cook, right? So, yeah, that's but I like true. to cook too, so we'll make you a do. good team. We'll make a you good do. team. It's true. It's right. true. And you know, what better way to to woo a bride uh -huh. than with these fast food recipes? And you that's can say, right. hey. Honey, we don't need to go to a fast food restaurant. Just come on over. Yeah. I'll make you some Chick-fil-A chicken homemade recipe. You don't even have to say it's dash. And then you know what? That's it. It's a done you know? deal at that point. That's right. She's already, she's marrying you at that moment. <laughs> All right, I'm going to put these in the oven 450 degrees for about 20 minutes. And when we come back, Sean's going to join us and make one of your favorite fast food desserts.